Hello and welcome everyone to part 7 of the Danes Let's Play. The Total War Attila, we continue where we left things last time and you guys left me with two choices. Well, some of you left me with two choices. There is a third option, which I'll discuss in a moment. Uh, one was to siege them and see if, you know, I'll take attrition but see if they sally out. If they don't, then attack next turn. Um, obviously in that time they will get, um, they won't be able to replenish at the moment. But, um... I'll take the attrition, or I could uh, break the siege, fortify up to stop myself taking attrition, but then they will be able to replenish up and then attack them next turn. The third option is someone did suggest, which is merge my existing units, uh, the few that need a bit of merging. Which are these guys. Um, and then just get some mercenaries to make up for... Um, the gaps that these guys will have. I mean, I could disband these guys, but I'm actually just going to get one more unit of cavalry to get a full um, complement. Well, three units of cavalry, even number of cavalry there. I've got two onagers. I'm going to try and burn the city to the ground to do a load of morale damage. And the reason why I've gone for this extra cavalry is because they've got all of those slingers there. They have one unit of cavalry as far as I can see, but we should be able to do this. I mean, the auto resolve, the error of margin, the error of margin. The margin of error is in my favour if I do this, if I was to auto-resolve. But I'm going to fight it, and we're going to give it a go. I'm going to go straight in rather than trying to take uh, take the attrition for this turn. I want to finish off the uh, Burgundians here. Yeah, so as you can see, only one unit of cavalry, and that's pretty weak anyway. So, they have no sufficient anti-cav um, ability against me. Even their spears and pikes, not that strong, and I could probably... I mean, I'd lose a fair few cab, but I could probably just charge into them head on and still break them anyway. So we're going to try and burn the city down. Their Onager is the only thing that actually worries me. I'm going for a nice dry day rather than fog. Their, yeah, their Onager is the only thing that actually worries me. I'm going to strike from two sides. Normally I strike from... Whatever, but I'm, with this, at least I can have an Onager on each side, which is going to be useful. So we'll have one Onager here. We may need to move it up a bit. So that's going to be nice. There we go. Give them fire! And we'll have one from here. We're going to attack from obviously both sides. Uh, huh. The annoying thing about this is they have lots of watchtowers. Now I can... The best way actually to push in is to avoid that watchtower entirely and just push in this way against them. We can kind of channel them a bit. And this way I can obviously hit a few more of their... Uh, their settlement bits to burn. So I'm actually going to go in here rather than deploying way out here because I'll get annoyed by that one there. These guys are raiders so they do have quick capture power so they can actually capture that quickly. I mean I could push up here and try and capture but it's only a battlefield wide bonus so it's not actually going, going to end the battle for me. If I get my honor go up on here though I've got a good plateau to fire on everything. So that's where I'm going to form up with some of these guys. Form up with cavalry here. And form up with cavalry over here. Just gotta take out that watchtower there. I'm um, thinking my slingers and javelins. Yeah, we'll group we'll group them independently. We'll have the slingers on this side with my spears. And infantry are gonna go in from here. And they're going to have the javelins as well. Support them. My general's going to come in from this side. Okay. And that's going to get a group number. That's going to get a group number just so I can easily order them about if I don't want to have to click. So I'll move them in. He can't have much more to his range, surely, that needs to be added before he can hit. No. Not much. There are a few forces over here. Do see their arrow tower has a huge, their, their watchtower rather, has a huge range. It's to right to here, so I can't actually afford to move up uh, much, except for here. Right, just to here. I'm going with the raiders in a moment. These guys can pull to here. Ah, damn it. This goes to here. Javelins to there. Some interesting pathfinding going on. If we actually ever get a hit on a uh, on a watchtower, 
thankfully we burnt the building next to it here. I was hoping this one might miss and start burning these bits, so that'd be fine. Yeah, we nearly got, we nearly got that washed out. Yeah, so you guys are just going to be targeted on taking out that levy there. Have we got the tower yet? Nearly. We are burning things, which is good. Just keep burning. Cavalry will be able to swoop in. I would just charge straight on, as I originally said. I've got that onager over there, which is just starting to form up. So I'm going to take my one unit of cavalry round here to strike them. Otherwise, this warband unit is going to get taken out by that Onager. Oh, get cool that watchtower's down. Right, we're now going to start hitting up here. The tower has fallen. Good this news. one's nearly down. Right, you guys take out the Onagers. In fact, I could have sent all the cavalry up around that way, so I didn't want to get too close to that tower there. Right, we're going to charge them. Take out the Germanic Levy any second. Damn. Some Onager shots on them there. Go, 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 guys. Come on, push on, push on. I should get over here. Weaken them a little bit. Slingers, pull yourselves to here. You guys to here. General, this way. The men are broken and running for their lives. Yeah, they're breaking my cavalry over here. Really did not get the power that I had hoped with these guys. But it's fine, because I'm pushing with my swords now, so that's okay. Damn, breaking my cav like crazy. You guys pull round. Up over here, up over here. Cavalry, go, 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 go. Watch out for all these guys, that's the only problem. Let's try and hit these guys, send them back. Charge on in here, break the Germanic warband if we can with a bit of a hit. Ignore the pikes, just go in there. Slingers, push forward a little bit. Spears, there we go. General, forward. Go, 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 go over here, guys. Still trying to get still that watchtower, seriously. Did not go as well as I'd have liked it to. Cavalry pull back. Oh, damn it, breaking all over the place. General is being attacked. Keep him alive. Get these guys if you can. Is that town down yet? Cavalry over here. Hit the archers. We'll get in here. We'll get in the settlement. Charge them as well. Cavalry, go, go, go. Go again. General gets stuck in. If we can start breaking them, they'll be alright. Take out these guys at the back here, slingers, if we can. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, seriously, Onigo, you need to finish off that tower. Can't believe we didn't get it. We punch through them here, which is good. We're just going to have to keep going through here, though. Because they're hitting us really hard. We're going to capture that tower super fast, though, so that's fine. Let's just burn this, then, please. Yep, broken through them here. Good. Big losses, but it's okay. Once we've dealt with these guys, we don't have any 
major threats for a little bit. Cavalry come back over here. I just need the rest of them to break now. Ah, I've lost all my cav. Great. Push up here, push up here, push up here. All of you just get up here. Turn around, kill their general. If we get their general, then we'll have a win. This is not pretty. Could have gone loads better. Just going to push these guys down completely. Yeah, my cav management is awful in that. These guys have pretty much all been defeated. The thing is, Nordic Levy are awful. As many of you said in the comments, I need to upgrade my warriors, but it just takes so so long. So I will be upgrading them, but it's not a quick upgrade, unfortunately. Thankfully, we have got the numbers on them just. That barricade, keep charging on them. We'll get them now. Just the shame about old cavalry, to be honest. Did not go well. I, uh, well, no, I think I said it in the last episode actually that I uh, needed to be careful. I needed to be careful about how I dealt with the. Uh, Archers and what have you. Is their general still coming up? No, where's their general gone? Ah, he's coming up this way. Okay, I'll meet him with my general this way as well. Spears, come on, come down. I need you guys to engage. I don't think you guys have got any ammo left, but you'll still probably fire like one volley. You guys unfortunately can't form up a spear beer wall or anything like that, so we're just going to have to push in anyway. Just try and weaken their morale, get my general to capture this square, we'll kill their general and then they'll all break. So Onigas underestimated them. Well, no, I didn't deploy my... I should have just taken my cavalry straight up here and smashed into them when I pinned forward with my Nordic levy. As long as we can keep these guys moving, that's fine because it stops their... Ah, uh, they've got skirmishes here, I didn't expect them to... I thought they had their general count here, unless they've swapped it around again. Gotcha. Alright, we'll just charge into these guys. I know you're tired, but let's take them down. Probably break them pretty quickly. Oh, here we go, we're breaking these guys now. Whether or not we can hold them and pull back a little bit. No, nope, gotta keep pushing. Gotta sacrifice the Nordic level, otherwise they're uh, <laughs> still going well. They will break once their general goes. Shield wall quickly, guys. They are exhausted, but we'll punch through them. They're exhausted. We're very tired, so we do have a little bit of a little bit of an edge here. Now's the trouble with these guys because they just split their forces up. Keep chasing, guys. Keep chasing. There we go. We caught a unit. Oh, that tower's going to hit me as well now. punch through them now. Annoyingly we've got to chase those guys over there or we're going to be in big trouble. The enemy are losing their advantage. Just throw these guys in. The sheer charge hopefully will uh, help push on through. They are... They were wavering. This charge might help little bit. 
keep going, spears, keep going. Put you in loose formation. There we go. split off in all directions. Slowly having the, the, the slow chase of doom. We lost way too many men in that. Not that that helps him in any way, but uh, why not use the ability, I guess. Steady casualties. Oh, nice. He's really going for it. There we go. Victory. Just going to end it there. Pyrrhic victory, yes. Indeed it was. We lost pretty much most, if not all, the cav. And I really need better infantry, but again, it takes so long to get those. And I'm kind of fused because quite a few were sort of saying, oh, well, you really need to get better infantry. I'm pretty sure that's what I tried to start doing, but there's no kind of middle ground um, until I get the warrior upgrade for them. Oh, there we go. Bye. That will do. Oh, and okay, it wasn't actually that bad. We lost the mercenary unit, but that's fine. And actually, those guys are mercenaries as well. Um, we lost one of the raiders. That's okay. I can live with that. It's not as bad as it looked. Uh, we will loot and occupy as well. That looting. Faction destroyed. Burgundians. Hoorah! Now we have the whole of the uh, Gothiscanza province under our control. Sort of tempted to take out the angles if I get a chance. Now, I know I've been talking about going after uh, Britannia Inferior, but a load of you are saying uh, I'm missing out on hitting the kind of soft underbelly that is the uh, Western Romans. And I should perhaps look to send my fleet all the way around into the Mediterranean and sort of strike these areas here. Now, that is a navy rather than anything else. Um, we've got Gaul and all of that there. To be honest, I think I... I mean, I could hit Iberia. I think, to be honest, there's not much point. We've got the Jutes, Jutes down here. I'm not sure there's much point actually going around to Italy, taking Rome. It looks like something's been raised there. And it will be a large amount of funds. But I think, if anything, I need to go for Britain or I need to go for Iberia. But Iberia isn't as profitable don't think as Camelodonum and Londinium right now so I'm gonna I'm gonna take these settlements here from Britain then I'll look to push into Gaul a little bit well, I mean what now I'm gonna be bringing my armies over hopefully I need to build them up though but in terms of that research getting better infantry Lionheart please um, okay we can get the Nordic axe warriors which we need to get from um, the smithies we need to get that but I'm going for the Nordic warriors which replace the Nordic warband uh, Nordic brigade rather which are crap um, I just need to find somewhere I've actually got a smithy or something like that. I mean, I can get herdmen as well. We'll be able to get them uh, from the chieftain's hold there. Or berserkers. And we were working out which one I was going to go for. And I think... Well, wolf coats are okay. My economy is fine, actually, right now. Wolf coats are okay, but they're not... They're like low-tier units, really. They don't have much defense. Um, so, I mean, the chieftain's hold... You can only get in a city... If I converted this to a smithy, I could get Nordic Raiders, and the, the third upgrade from that is a, um, well, let me have a look, um, do, 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 do. where are they, uh, civic, no, 
uh, military. No, I want artisans. Actually, they're they're they're, uh, they're their own section here. Industry. Oh, within industry. There we go. Um, Steel Forge lets me get the Nordic Axe Warband. Which, if I load up the encyclopedia. No, don't want Gothic Pikemen. Back, please. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Steel Forge, please. Why can't I see the units? Um, okay, fine. Well, um, we'll go to units. And we'll go to Danes. We'll show you them here. Nordic Axe Warband. So pretty reasonable, pretty easy. Melee defense isn't great, but at least they're they are bet miles better, in fact, than. Uh, where are they? Nordic Brigade. Look at them. I mean, they've got better melee defense, but these guys will do more damage. They'll actually be useful. So go for them. Uh, Herdmen, or obviously, they're useful. I think I'm going to go for Great Hall and Berserkers because uh, they will do a lot of damage. Uh, we're going for that one there, so that can be something else. This one can be something else as well. Uh, well, actually, in that case, it would be worthwhile making the other two great halls, and since it's the only one I can get in the city, getting the Chieftain's Hold here, because that's the only one I can get here. Damn, but I don't have Sacred King, and I really need to research that. I'll have to convert it later. Uh, and now, if, actually, if I repair that, I can't get these. So, yeah, let's go with my original plan. Let's get the Norse Berserkers. Although, uh, saying that, let me look at mercenary wolf coats. No, melee defense is fine, but melee attacks are awful. So we won't go for them. Okay. It's either the herdman or the berserkers, and seeing as the herdman costs more... Well, I don't have the research, rather, then I'm going for those guys. Uh, we will repair all this slowly. Get that upgrade done first. Uh, we're putting some more spears. Ready for orders. Uh, these guys are slowly building back up. Uh, I will let them do that rather than merging. Yeah, so for now, I'm just going to keep going for Britain. I'm not at war with anyone now. Uh, the Jutes, yeah, interestingly, they've carved out weird patches of territory. And the Geats have gone down here. Honestly, no idea how the Western Romans are doing. They've got forces down here, which I could go for. I mean, well, feel free to let me know in this part as well. Do you really... But I kind of feel like just getting Britain right now would be better than... I've only got the navy, it's not an army, so I can only just take settlements, I'd have to then build up forces. Um, just by the time I get around there, I think they're going to be pretty wrecked anyway, I don't think there's going to be much left over, to be honest. I have little gain in wasting the day on you. Uh, I mean, here as well, I'm not without enemies, they're deteriorating here. So I'm going to have to watch my back, I could probably spare one army, but one army's going to have to stay behind. Excuse me. Ah, uh, one army's going to have to stay behind, um, to be honest. Got to be a bit careful. That's a mercenary Onager. That's hitting economy, but that's fine for now. We'll keep it. These guys are actual recruited Onagers. I'm going to get rid of these mercenaries. Bye, guys. You guys can stay. Oh, sorry if you're hearing weird noise in the background as well, because um, it looks like my neighbours just like to have their hedge trimmed. Yay, for hedge trimming. Uh, right, we're going to enter. We'll get another. We'll get a rebellion here because we've obviously just conquered. But that's fine. We can we can put that down. We can deal with it. Uh, end turn time. We'll get that ship ready to assault. Um. Do do do. Oh yeah yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> Angles are holding up there. Take a bit of attrition. Looks like they've, they've heard the fortifying noise, so I'm assuming they're not going to take attrition now. Disease outbreak. Oh dear. And mission failed. Uh, yes. Sorry about that. Office secured, though. That's good. Um, yeah, we've got disease here. And it's probably in this army now. Ah. So I can't really afford to move him now. My high king. I have to wait for the disease to pass. We definitely need some sanitation stuff, though. 
Um, Ready for orders. I have to hope it doesn't kill my general. Don't want to move him though to take it to other settlements, otherwise it will spread. But if we look at the army, move, lads. is there a, a glow around them? No, but Thirsty having moved them out of there, will they be affected, or is it just the settlement? Has it has it instantly affected them, or do I have a, a turn to move them Ready out? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we didn't get the rebellion there. That's good. Warriors all. Okay, I'm actually going to move this army back over to here. Get away from the pestilence. Um, I think they'll risk moving my high king away from that settlement. We'll see if it spreads to this one. Not sure. We'll see if it spreads. This is testing time for me. Uh, what can we get? I get war. People are telling me to get war dogs. Uh, I might. Yeah, I'll keep the Nordic bows for now. But you've got to build up. We've got to build up a new army. Oh, dude, seriously, shush with the drilling and cutting and whatever you're doing outside. Um, I'm also I just don't have any decent units yet. Right, I'm going to repair all this anyway. Uh, salt works. More food. Wealth. Useful. That's good too. Um, that on its next one that can go to a well, that one can go to a chieftain's one. I thought that was a uh, city only, but obviously not. Okay, so we really need to get that to get the herdman, which as a toss up, do I get the Nordic warriors? I'll show you this. Um, oh god, it doesn't show me the units that you can get. Nordic warriors, not elite ones, just standard Nordic warriors. Uh, there we go, these guys. Loads better, and they have uh, you know reasonable armor, and what have you. Missile weapon, excellent attack against cavalry, excellent attack against infantry. Whereas the herdman, oh god, why don't we go back to Eastern Roman Empire? Come on, the herdman. They where they've gone past them because I'm blind. There we go. They're here. Let's charge. Oh, they have higher melee, mm, slightly less. Well. It's up to you guys because it will take exactly the oh no, it'll take one extra turn now to go for the chieftain's hold because it'll take me six turns to research and then obviously five turns to build. So I can go for them or I can go for the warriors and I could upgrade. It's probably better still to go for my Nordic brigade because those are the ones that I've currently got out here and I can pump them out ready into my armies to get the upgrade. So that to me makes more sense. Um, in that case, I'll be building a lot more Nordic levy, and I need to push on as well. I can't just sort of sit there and then wait for all these units to build up. No, I'm going to continue with what I'm currently doing. I think, unless anyone can convince me that that's rather crazy. So we're going to build more of these guys. Those guys there. We do need more hurlers. Um, one more, one more speed. Four units of spears is fine. I'm just going for three units of swords though, so I've got the powerful sword units. Uh, javelin men, I think I might get rid of you, Thrall Skirmish. I know you're cheap, but I might replace you with the Slingers just because. Uh, well, I say that. <laughs> I say that. I don't actually mean it. Um, we've got the Raiders here, which are pretty reasonable. Uh, or there's War Dogs, and then I've got both those Onigas as well. It's a good army to take down capitals. Might be useful to getting over to Camlodonum quite quickly. Let's upgrade my general over here anyway. We've got the ships already. We'll go for the Spoiler. Because we will be looting and sacking. Camden Donham is just open. Oh, I know they've got strong troops though. But I've got artillery ships. I think it's worth me... There's Britain over here. It's worth me going for them. Because... If I take more time to go down to Western Roman Empire, it's probably already going to be pretty carved up. At least here I can consolidate a realm quite close to where I start off. I can take some land in northern... France as well. That's already held by the Jutes. Uh, I know I could push down and help them out. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough decision because, well, I'm not actually going to attack the British this turn. I'm not going to launch the attack to hit Camden I'm going to see what you guys say. I'd really like to hear your input on this. Some clear, you know, for and against. Attack Britain or keep this fleet going. It's going to probably, at best, if I force march it, it's going to take like five or six, probably eight turns to get them down to Rome. 
Or I could raid a little bit of Iberia. But the thing is, I can't actually. I can't raid all of Iberia. I don't know if that's held by the Western Roman Empire or not. I can only raid ones on the coast. Which actually means I can only hit that one. Tingis, Nova Carthago. Oh, I can hit quite a few once I get around there. But the thing is, they could also be taken by the Jutes that are advancing. Okay, I know that Britain I can only take Camelodonum for now. But at least I can secure that and pull another army over quickly afterwards. I can also go and take uh, Rotum Magnus, which is also held by the British. So I could hit Camelodonum and then Rotum Magnus quite quickly. But I will leave that with you guys. Do let me know what you think. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow my Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. Check out the first impressions video of Total War Attila. Links in the description as well for all my uh, thoughts uh, on various features of Attila. Likes, dislikes, and room for improvements are all covered. Until next time, ciao for now.